Sailor Moon Collectibles News and Reviews. Hey guys, welcome to another Sailor Tortilla video. Today I am unboxing a toy that came out, this thing came out legit. Look at that, ooh, you can see through. Ain't that cool, you can see right through the box. This toy came out three years ago and it's from Legend Studios. It's very similar to the SH Figure Arts. It brings multiple faces. A little Luna, she's kind of funny looking. And different hands and stuff. There you can see through the package again. She is posed, which is really neat. It's different than the SH Figure Arts because she's posed this time instead of kind of standing there prone. It's really great that you could see all the accessories without even purchasing just right here in the box it's really it's a nice change um, instead of having to guess like oh I guess I look at the packaging and imagine how the faces look but here you don't even have to buy it to see how the quality is why is my phone going off so yeah this is considered an art statue it's by a company called Legend Studios, that's a toy sticker because this thing is 100% authentic. 100 million billion percent. It just was not popular. This company, and I'm going to tell you the story while I open up the tape here. This company intended to make a whole line of Sailor Moon S uh, characters, including the Outer Senshi. Um, this is this Sailor Moon is from the third season. They showed prototypes at conventions and they just never got around to it. This figure, there we go. Nice and easy. I really like that this takes away all the work. Posing. You could just take her right out of the box. I'm already loving the colors on this, by the way. It's super vibrant. But yeah, this toy never took off. It, I actually bought it for cheaper than it originally sold for, which is insane. Wow, those colors are beautiful. Alright, let's take her out. I see Luna's trapped in there like a weird little green bean. Success! All right, these are all loose in here, so I'm just gonna pull Sailor Moon out. Oh, oh, cool. Um, oh my God. A million hands. She has plastic here to protect the paint from the legs, from the paint on the skirt. How to remove. Oh boy, here we go. This plastic is between the hip joint and the leg. <sighs> oh, this is scary. Oh God, I don't like doing this. <laughs> Looks like she's dabbing. Oh, dab. The okay, the plastic on here doesn't feel hard. It's, you see that it's rubbery, even the skirt. It's a little rubbery. Um, it's different. Um, hair's translucent. Um, not really feeling it um, compared to the SH Figure Arts. See, I'm being really gentle with this because I was warned ahead of time that the joints are very weak um, and the hands break off. And I don't want to. Oh, yeah, it feels weak. It's really small. Itty bitty, her hand is teeny, teeny tiny. Is that how you dab? I don't even know. I am not hip with the kids these days. Wow, she has toe joints. Toe joint. Oh, that's spooky. Oh my gosh, I feel like I pushed it too far. Okay, I broke her foot. Holy crap, that's. <sighs> this figure is beautiful, but I can see why it wasn't popular. I will make her dab if it kills me. This 
so sad. I'm just gonna hold her toes. Oh God. Oh. That's how I feel right now. It's weird. She's got a paint defect on her skirt there. That's annoying. Um, it's also kind of what you expect with these figures. See, I can even move the head by like manipulating the hair. These joints are really loose. Got the underbust cleavage of the Super Sailor Senshi from season four. I'm sorry, that's what I noticed. I'm a bad person. Gosh, I love the red. I love the blue. I hate the hair. <laughs> I don't regret buying this. Look at those boots. They're beautiful. I've always wanted this. I've always been curious about this, but I 100%, 1 million percent understand why this wasn't popular. I think the quality of this paint, the paint job they gave it, it probably costs too much. I mean, we know like, it's never good, right? Even I have a paint defect, but these colors are so vibrant, they're so beautiful. Um, let's let's put her on the stand. I'm gonna see how to swap the faces. Let's rip her face apart. Uh, no, 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 no. Nope, that's not right. Hi, friends. Sailor Moon says I'm gonna get a lobotomy. It's not really how a lobotomy works, but uh, <laughs> she's kind of cute. <laughs> she is derpy, but she's kind of cute without her bangs. This figure brings other bangs. Her face, it, it did not, it didn't want to be there. I guess here's an opportunity to change her face. This is some Evangelion shit right here. Action face. Oh, that little hand is so freaky. It's her strong hand. And these are the action bangs. But why? What action should I make her do? That's annoying. The fact that I'm playing with it so much means it's a good toy, because I'm really enjoying playing with it. I just I kind of hate it. <laughs> I love it and I hate it. It's a love-hate relationship. <laughs> there, you stay there. So simple it hurts. Get ready to be annoyed with this noise. Sailor Moon's got a hole in her back for the thing to pose her. What? <laughs> ah, God damn it. So I kind of came into this review not wanting to like this toy because they didn't make the rest of these figures. So if I liked it, right, there's, there's nothing else I could buy. So I really wanted to hate this. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I spent money on it because I was curious, but I really wanted to just be like, and this is why they didn't make more, but it's kind of cool how the pair work. I don't understand anything. And if you want to see what other faces she comes with, you already saw the winking face, but have you gotten ready for Brock from Pokemon face? This is my favorite. I think it's really pretty. What you can't see is that this is like really bendy. It has like next to no details. Yikes. Okay. These except, oh gosh. It's really hard to keep that from rolling over. These accessories are so small. 
I could probably eat these and poop these out and never ever see them. Sorry about that image, but now you've got that image in your mind. That's gonna get so hardcore lost. She's weird. She's just straight up weird. Let's let's not pretend. Yep, she looks like a blob. That's a lot of hands. I found the ones that are for holding the wand, but I don't want to do it. I know that's really lame of me, but I'm just gonna roll these up, put them in the package. I'm not doing it. I'm just putting this back. I'm Sailor Moon, and I'm going to the store. <laughs> but I'm having fun. Why are the colors on this so pretty? Oh, it's annoying. I wanted to dislike you. Let's just give Sailor Moon a big hug. I own too many of these, and I ran out of poses, to be honest with you. Let's check the box. They have her holding this thing, and I am just not confident that that is going to stay in her hands. That's a shame. I like the action bangs. It's nice that they're an option. But I guess it's not going to work with whatever pose I do. This is a dance, an interpretive dance. A pose. I'm going to pose her like this. So she's just eternally going to be asking, what do I do with my hands? Just what do I do with my hands? I have so little to say about this figure. I'm mad because I like it, but I'm also mad because I'm out of poses. And her hair is really rubbery. It's really weird. I like the way the stand connects into the figure. It's a lot less hassle. My SH figure art stands have actually broken over time. Um, and it's that crab claw, right, that grabs at their waist that breaks every time on probably all of them. This is too gorgeous of a figure, right, to ignore. That face is amazing. That face is absolutely incredible. The paint's beautiful, even if it has you know, maybe some minor paint issues. Those feet are nuts. I am really not about this right now, though. The red is just so vibrant. Seriously, the detail on this is nuts. I just don't know how to handle this figure. I'm really speechless. Um, do I recommend it though? I don't know. The long and the short of it is, this figure is interesting. Is it worth your time? Probably. You just gotta be really not scared of breaking it, which is kind of my issue. If I had two of these, I'd probably be like, whatever, but I don't even know if this is rare or not. Like, it's not even a collectible. It was real cheap. So, eh. I think it's pretty. I just don't have any strong feelings about it. Except that I did have fun playing with it, so. I guess it's just kinda in the middle. If you have it, cool. If you don't, that's cool too. And uh, that's my take on it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm Sailor Tortilla. You can follow me on Instagram and all that fun stuff for collection pics. Ugh, collection pics. I got lots of collection pics. I do a lot of collecting. And is this going to be in my collection? Probably. Just because it's the only one that this line made. So, meh.